Y'all ready to go pick some blueberries? Are y'all ready to go pick some blueberries? Yeah. Yeah. It'll be fun. <laughs> pick them off the trees, Chloe, instead of the ground. Okay, there's more. Try to get the ones that's blue. Why are the farms going? You need help? <laughs> Doing a little cool day. And it feels really hot today, so perfect to get in the pool. Fun fact, let's, our pool heater is broken. <laughs> and we need to get it fixed, but we don't need it today. So <laughs> we'll have to get it fixed sometime soon though. Um, but thankfully it's hot right now, so we can probably wait a couple months to get that fixed because they're not cheap. Um, so yeah, fun, fun. Kids love the water. Also, how do y'all feel about these sunglasses? I'm unsure. These are my newest pair. And um, I was gonna do a sunglass collection for you guys because y'all always ask for it, but I know it's not gonna get views, but I feel like I owe it to y'all because y'all people that have been following me for a while love my sunglasses. I love my sunglasses. So I feel like I want to do it. Maybe I'll do it within a vlog or something. I don't know. But I will do a sunglass collection at some point. But what do y'all think about these? I'm not sure about them, to be completely honest. <laughs> uh, maybe they look better with my hair up. I don't know. I feel like they look kind of buggish. But I don't know. I really like them on the website, but on my face, I'm not sure. Hey y'all, so it's much later in the day and I've washed my hair so I have it back in this ponytail. I am going to twist it tonight. I'd like to do a twist out. I just haven't done it yet. So right now the kids are outside with their dad. But I wanted to share this fragrance with y'all. I sprayed this on after I took my shower. And this is Montal Mocha Lot. Y'all may remember me mentioning it in a haul not too long ago. And I was unsure about it because it smells like strawberry um air freshener and i still think it smells like that however i fully wore it today and it's not bad it's not bad it definitely is kind of i feel like it's kind of a novelty scent but once you actually spray it on the skin and give it like five minutes i feel like it mellows out of course it's still not mellow <laughs> but the air freshener scent kind of goes down and it kind of goes into more of you still have that kind of fake strawberry but it's not so strong and it's Feel, I feel like it's combined with like musk or something that just makes it smell, it makes it smell like a perfume as opposed to an air freshener. So yeah, I like this. I, not my, this is not like my favorite fragrance <laughs> by any means, but I do like it enough to keep it. And I actually think this would do really well um, if you combined it with the moisturizer if you want it, if you don't have a strawberry lotion, well, for me, I wouldn't say buy this just for that, but I don't have a strawberry lotion. So I think this would do well to combine with a lotion and then use that as a layering, like a base layer for some other like fruity fragrances that I want to add more strawberry to. But I think I have a spot in my collection for this. So I just wanted to fill y'all in on that because, you know, sometimes these fragrances that don't necessarily make my favorites or something else like hated it it's like in the middle fragrances i don't always end up talking about them so i kind of want to share my updated thoughts on it now that i've had a chance to actually wear this fragrance so yeah anyway i am about to um go try to tidy up this living room kitchen area story of my life um and then i have to wash chloe's hair since she got in the pool today so yeah I hate washing her hair, but tis what it is. Girl mom problems, but anyway. 
I hope y'all are having a happy Sunday or whenever you're watching this and I will check in with y'all later. Hi, can I get a pink strawberry coconut refresher? Sure thing. Um, oh wait, I lied. I'm sorry. I can't even give those to you. I don't have any strawberry concentrate. Oh okay. What are the other coconut? Oh, let me. Can I get a golden peach flavored one? All right. Medium. Gotcha. And that's it. All right, <clears throat> Thank you. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Have a nice day. Hey, y'all. Happy Wednesday. So I'm just leaving my house. Um, wanted something to drink that was not water <clears throat> and not coffee. My stomach has been feeling actually kind of off lately. Um, so I'm trying to kind of cut down on my coffee drinking. I mean, I had coffee today, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but ever since I had this sinus infection, <clears throat> I'm at the end of it now. But since I've been on the antibiotics and steroids, it's just my stomach has just been weird, which is normal. So <sighs> this is good. I don't know how many calories are in this or anything like this, but this is the Golden Peach Coconut Refresher um, from Dunkin' Donuts. My first time trying it, but it's actually really good. But I wanted a drink for my drive. <laughs> I got to head out to the mall, not the one close to me, but one kind of far away. And I will show y'all why once I get out there. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I, I needed a drink for that. But anyway, I just wanted to check in with y'all. I know it's been a couple days since I turned on the vlogging camera, which is really just my phone. <laughs> so um, I figured I should turn on today since I was gonna go out to the mall and do something besides, besides just clean my house. But when I stop my car though, like once I get to the mall, I do wanna show y'all something before I go in there um, in case you guys wanna pick it up for Mother's Day which hopefully this video will be up before Mother's Day, but I'll show y'all when we get there. So uh, I'll check in in a second. Y'all, it is way, way too hot. It is currently 91 degrees, but it feels hotter than that to be. And I am like burning up I'm walking around with, in the mall with the mask on. And I don't know, it was just a lot. <laughs> it was a lot i got on jeans and i'm just not ready for this heat right now i'm really not it feels way hotter than 91 degrees anyway i wanted to show y'all what i um picked up at the mall the whole reason i went out there is to get this here can y'all see what kind of bag that is yes it's an apple bag so as you may have guessed I got the new iPhone. Uh, I mean, it's really not new anymore, but it's new to me. <clears throat> I'm currently filming on my current iPhone, which is a 10s, <clears throat> And I was really trying to hold out until the next iPhone came out. Honestly, I hate spending money on phones. They're just so expensive. Like I always want the newest phone, but I just feel like they are so expensive. <laughs> Um, but my phone has been messing up to the point where I have a hard time like commenting on things and Instagram has been messing up, not because of the app, but because of my phone. Um, my FaceTime stopped working. So I just said, you know what, Aisha, it's time. So I went ahead and got this one. I didn't think I could hold out until the next iPhone comes out because my phone is just, it's so annoying. Like some of the buttons don't work like on the um, keyboard. It's like my screen got damaged or I'm having like sensitivity issues with my screen. So yeah, um, I ended up getting a 12 Pro Max in the color gold. I'm not gonna open it because we all know what iPhones look like and I'm not gonna open this until I get home so I can set it up and everything probably. Um, but yeah, that's what I got. So I am excited to have it. Um, my husband already has a 12 Pro but he doesn't have the Max version, he has the regular version this time I decided to go with the max 
not because I like the bigger phones, but now that I am being a lot more like committed to my social media stuff, I feel like the Macs would be easier for me like to comment and text and that kind of thing. Like I do more stuff on my phone than I used to. So yeah, while I was in there, I also went in children's place and picked this up for Chloe. These are just like little biking shorts to put underneath her dresses and she's like almost out i don't know what has happened to all her bike shorts so i knew i just wanted to pick up a couple while i was in there um so yeah i got that and then the other thing that i wanted to share with y'all is something i got from target and <clears throat> this is like a mommy and me set so i didn't know target was doing these now but i saw it on the website when i was looking for something else and ended up picking it up so this is a little dress that i got for chloe and I think that's cute with the little keyhole back. And I got this for her to wear on Mother's Day and then I'm going to wear the adult version. So the adult version is just like a tiered dress. It doesn't have the same back as the kids. This is the back. Um, the kids one is actually cuter, <laughs> but also I wouldn't be able to wear a bra with it probably like the kind of bra I wanna wear if it had this kind of back like the kids version. So I'm super excited for us to wear those on Mother's Day. I don't know what mr noah's gonna wear because he really doesn't have anything this color and i don't want him to feel left out but they didn't have like the boys version so um i'll probably just have him and my husband dressed in the same color on mother's day we're probably not even doing anything but that way he won't feel like it's left out and it's just mommy and chloe doing something i don't know but um yeah so that's what i wanted to show y'all i also wanted to show y'all this ring that i picked up isn't that cute so I got this from TJ Maxx the other day. I was in there looking for something else and I saw this ring and I have had my eye on the Tiffany Love ring that's similar to this. Um, however, if it if I was getting a Tiffany one, I wouldn't be getting the one with diamonds. I would just be getting the gold one. Um, it's obviously not the same, but I feel like this is inspired by the Tiffany ring and this was like $15. <laughs> so I said, why not? Who knows? I may still end up getting the Tiffany ring at some point, but um, I like this one and yeah, I hope it lasts and that the stones don't fall out or anything. But anyway, I'm about to head back to my side of town. So, um, gotta go pick Noah up from therapy. So I'm sure I'll turn the camera on again at some point today. So couldn't wait. <laughs> gotta open it up. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. I think that's still the sticker on it, but can't do this with my hand. So pretty. It's nail time. I am doing this color. I already did it on my toes. And I'm getting ready to do the gel version on my nails. I wanted to show y'all this though. This is a new base coat that I got. I found it at Marshall's for four bucks. But it's a Pro Health base coat by OPI. So it's supposed to be a base coat that helps protect your natural nails when you're doing gel polish. I'm not sure how true that is. I only used it one time, but I will say the one time that I used it, I did find that my nail polish or my um <clears throat> my gel polish stuck the same. So it's not like it shortened the wear of my nail polish. And yeah, so that's a good thing. So only time will tell if this actually makes a difference. So I'll have to keep y'all up, up to date on that. But so far, I'm really liking it. I like the texture and consistency. And it seems to last just as long as my regular base coat. One hand in. Good morning, y'all. Happy Saturday. So right now I am actually doing a video premiere. Let me turn y'all on. So yeah, I'm sitting here watching my own video on a premiere and it's super weird. I, I always get weird about premieres just because, number one, I'm not like a conversation starter. <laughs> it's actually really hard for me to talk to people <laughs> that I don't know or like in a situation like this where I'm supposed to lead the conversation. So it's kind of weird for me. It's also weird for me to watch my own videos. If any of you guys make videos, let me know if you're able to watch your own videos. Sometimes I do go back and watch my own videos and I'm just like, 
I don't know. It just feels strange. It just feels not right. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Let me get back to this because I see some people put some comments that I need to respond to, but um, I'll check in with y'all in a little bit. All right, just finished my little premiere video. It was a short video, so I think it was like a 10 minute video, but yeah, already a thumbs down on the video. <laughs> it's so funny, like, I've been on YouTube a long time, so thumbs downs don't really bother me that much. It's just so weird that it's always like at the very beginning. Like, I literally just posted it. Like, did you even watch the whole video? And also, obviously you have notifications on, but you don't like my videos. Like, so why, why are you watching it? Or why do you even come to my channel? But anyway, that little rant's over. <laughs> I just think it's strange. I've never thumbs down a video in my life on YouTube, but it honestly doesn't matter because <clears throat> I'm not sure if y'all know this, but when when you look at engagement, a thumbs down and a thumbs up count the same. It's still engagement. So actually it's helpful. It's more helpful to thumbs down for somebody to thumbs down a video as far as engagement goes <clears throat> than them, them <clears throat> sorry, it's more helpful for someone to thumbs down a video as far as engagement goes, as opposed to not doing anything with the video. So like just exiting out. So yeah, just FYI for you thumbs downers out there. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'm getting ready to, I don't know, probably go wash some clothes and all. My husband took my kids to the zoo. It's Mother's Day weekend, so He's giving me a break and yeah, but so my husband took my kids to the zoo and I'm probably going to go wash some clothes and, you know, just not do too much, but I can at least, at least wash clothes. But anyway, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Just lit one of my favorite <clears throat> summertime candles, Radiant Lime from DW Home. I always find it at like TJ Maxx or Home Goods or somewhere like that, but it is so good, y'all. It smells so fresh and sparkling and refreshing. And yeah, I also like pineapple and geranium, but not as much as radiant lime. Let me show y'all my other um, candle favorite. So this one is my other like summertime candle favorite and it's called Watermelon Fresca, also from DW Home. And this one has a really good scent throw uh, for this type of candle. So yeah, it's almost gone. Um, so I need to get another one, but yeah, I love, love, love that one too. Hey y'all, so I was getting ready to make myself a salad for lunch, but I got a package delivered, so I figured why not open on camera with you guys. So this is from Sephora, and honestly, this was ordered like two full weeks ago, at least. I don't know, it's like it got lost in the mail. Sephora took forever to ship it, and then... Once they shipped it, it just kind of like sat at one of the mail sorting facilities. I don't know why. So, finally got it. It's nothing big, but I still figure I can share it with you guys. So, it was actually only an order of one item, but I do have like some point perks that I'll share with y'all too. But the item that I order is this from Iconic London, and this is their Sheer Bronze. This is a liquid bronzer that I was excited to see on their site. And I actually went in store because they have a couple shades in store of this, but the shade that I thought I was gonna get during the sale was not the shade for me when I saw it in person. It was way too light. It was like the same color as my skin tone. So I ordered the next shade down. This is Spice Tan. This is what it looks like. Now, I, ha I don't know if this color is gonna work for me, but I'm thinking it will. So. So there we go. But this is a sheer bronzer. Cause when I squirted out the other one, it looked like it was gonna work. But then when you like rub it out, it didn't. So let's see. Yeah, that should definitely work. So I wanted this because I had an Armani liquid bronzer, which I've had for years and it's expired and it actually looks old now. So I finally threw it away. <laughs> So I really wanted a replacement, but they don't make that Armani bronzer anymore to my knowledge. And if they do, it's like 60 to $80, you know? So um, I really wanted a liquid bronzer. I know I just got the cream one from NARS, but I wanted a liquid one, not only to use to bronze my, bronze my face, but also I can use this to darken up any foundations that do not match me. Or like if I were to go on vacation again and I knew I was gonna get a tan, something like this works perfectly for that. That's how I use it 
used to use the Armani one. And I really like this color. So even though it's a sheer bronze, you can tell the difference. Hopefully y'all can tell the difference here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, okay, I'm excited. And as I rubbed it out, it feels pretty good. It doesn't feel tacky. It doesn't necessarily feel like a powder finish but it kind of feels like I apply like a lightweight moisturizer or something. Maybe not a moisturizer, but like one of those gel creams <laughs> um, or jellies. It kind of feels like I just apply one of those. So yay, I think that's gonna work. Excited to actually use that. And then they had a point perk of, I think 500 point perk for this Valentino Voce Viva. And this is a travel size spray. I believe it's 10 mLs. No, it's actually 15 mLs. So a half an ounce spray. I hope it's a spray. I've never actually smelled this, but because it was free or I use my points for it, I figure it would be worth it for me to try it. And if I don't like it, I'll just sell it. Yes, it is a spray, but let's see. I've heard that it smells good, but that it's kind of basic, but you know, there's nothing wrong with basic, especially like in a travel spray like this, because sometimes I just want something easy to carry with me. It actually smells really good. It's kind of fruity and floral and a little bit musky. It's actually really pretty. It kind of does remind me of Armani My Way though. It's not the most unique fragrance, honestly, but I like it, shockingly. Okay, so I'm gonna play around with this more and we'll see if it stays in my collection, but I think the bottle is super cute. I mean, Valentino never fails on the bottles. So that's that. What is this? Oh yeah, this was a um, promo code. I got a NARS Tinted Moisturizer. They came out with some new shades and like, I guess that's why they're re-promoting this like it's new, but this has been around forever and ever. But I got the shade Santiago. I used to use this before. I, I think I had a different shade. So this is one of the newer shades. So let's see, let me swatch this on my other hand. This little squeezy tube is so cute, so tiny. All right, so that's what it looks like. And that is it rubbed out. So it could work. Initially, it looked too light when I squeezed it down and it still may be too light, I'm not sure. I would have to actually try this on my face. It's really hard to tell on my hand, but I'm happy to have been able to try this for free. So, all right, I'm gonna go fix my lunch and I'll see y'all later. Cheese. So I know I said I wanted this video to be up before Mother's Day. Obviously it's not because today is Mother's Day. I'm still filming it, but happy Mother's Day to you all. I know Mother's Day can be tough for a lot of people. So I'm just praying that you guys are able to enjoy the day in some way. And for those of you who may have um, struggled while trying to become a mother, I just want you to know that my heart is with you and that I hope you are able to enjoy this day and not be too sad, but if you are sad, it's okay. And I'm sure somebody out there thinks of you as a mother figure. So I hope you can cherish that. Um, I am going to spend the rest of the day with my family and enjoy my kids. I gotta call my mom and grandma still and wish them a happy Mother's Day, but I hope y'all are having a good one. Before I sign out, I was gonna show y'all my outfit of the day and share my perfume of the day with you all. So here's my OOTD, it's this dress um, that I showed y'all. And y'all know if you've watched me for a while, I don't like wearing dresses because I don't like my legs, but I'm wearing one today. <laughs> and Chloe's wearing the same dress. So I'm just wearing this Target dress. And then the shoes that I'm wearing are these. There's Chloe's stocking cap over there, I just saw it. The shoes that I'm wearing are these from Sam Elliman um, that I got sometime last year. I'm not sure if they're still available, but um, just a second, and I will show y'all my scent of the day. There's Chloe. Hey, Chloe. Can you pull your dress back up? <laughs> all right, let me show y'all my scent of the day. So this, today I decided to go with one of my all-time favorite fragrances, and this is Amouage Sunshine. I don't talk about this as much because I kind of felt like I talked about it so much. <laughs> 
that I've been trying to give it a break. But I love this fragrance, so I decided to wear it today because I just wanted to wear something that I love. Um, yeah, so anyway, I hope y'all have a great, had a great Mother's Day or are having one. I think this will be posted on Mother's Day. I'm going to try to post it today. So I hope y'all have a great day and find some way to enjoy it, even though you may be also feeling feelings of loss. I'm praying for you. So y'all have a nice one. Bye. The way to make a mimosa. Watch closely, guys. It's just a glass of champagne. We're gonna do a drop of orange juice. That's the way to make mimosa. <laughs> perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs>